Mysterious and mystical places, ruins of a time long past. Societies long ago built elaborate buildings and structures, most of which have been destroyed by time, but some still remain. So stay tuned for the top 15 most amazing ancient ruin sites. Number 15, Ellora Caves. India is plenty old, so it makes sense that there's gonna be a ton of ancient ruins dotted around the country. But there's one in particular that really stands out, the Ellora Caves. Located in Maharashtra, the Ellora Caves date all the way back to the year 600 AD and were built by the Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain monks. They weren't working with all the same luxuries of construction that we've grown accustomed to today. These caves were built by hand using some old school tools and it took the builders over five centuries to make it. Imagine starting a project knowing that you, your children, your children's children, and even their children will never see it through. That's some serious dedication right there. The Ellora Caves are made up of a series of monasteries, chapels, and temples carved right into the side of the basalt cliffs. In all, it's composed of 100 caves, only 34 of which are available to the public. The real highlight here, though, is the Kailasa Temple, which is dedicated to the creator, protector, and the destroyer, the Hindu god Shiva, and holds the largest monolithic sculpture in the world. Number 14, Masada. If there was one thing that every great civilization had, it was a fortress. The ancient fortress of Masada is without a doubt one of the most impressive ruins you'll come across. Masada sits at the top of a cliff overlooking the Judean desert and the Dead Sea. It's beautiful at any time of day, but if you can get here for the sunrise, then you'll be in for something really special. Masada goes back over thousands of years and was built as the palace of King Herod, who ruled from 37 BC to 4 BC. This fortress was carved right into the mountain itself, but was still able to house some creature comforts of the day, like swimming pools and bathhouses. And Masada's irrigation system can still be seen in the scenery below. It's pretty amazing how something like this can withstand the test of time and erosion, and a hike up the ancient site is well worth it. But perhaps its biggest claim to fame is that Masada saw the last stand of the Jewish revolt, who, while under siege by the Romans, chose death by their own hands rather than a life of slavery under Roman rule. So with that said, Masada is also a prime example of Roman siege works. Number 13, Sigria. Carved into a 700-foot-thick vertical rock face in the town of Dambula, Sri Lanka, is the ancient fortress of Sigria. The site is now known as Lion Rock, and Sigria serves as a fascinating reminder of the existence of a vast capital of an ancient civilization. Once home to the kingdom of Kasapa, Sigria is absolutely breathtaking as it takes up the entirety of the rock's peak. Originally home to the king, this ancient site was a bustling citadel back in its glory days and was home to an upper palace, a mirror wall full of colorful frescoes, and even a gateway in the shape of a lion. Imagine calling that place home hundreds of years ago and being greeted by the lion every time you returned. But after the king died, the capital was all but abandoned and became the site of a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. You can visit Sagria, but get ready for a pretty tough climb. Everything you'll see along the way, like the water feature, ramparts, cave shrines, and terraced gardens, make it all totally worth it. And if someone can make that climb in 14th century footwear, then so can you. Number 12, Mesa Verde. Another ancient ruin carved right into the rock is Mesa Verde. Found deep in the American West is Mesa Verde National Park, which is composed of about 600 ancient clifftop dwellings. So there was a time when many, many people called this place home and were greeted by the sunrise and put to sleep by the sunset every day while tightly snug into the mountain. But in all, Mesa Verde houses about 4,800 archaeological sites, which date back to 550 AD, with the most famous probably being Cliff Palace. The palace is a huge sandstone alcove that looks about as good as it did all those years ago because the builders picked the perfect place to erect it. The Cliff Palace has been completely protected from the elements for well over 700 years and will probably remain that way for another 700. The palace is the largest site of its kind in North America and contains over 150 rooms and 23 ceremonial chambers known as kivas. The citizens of Mesa Verde called it home for nearly a century until these cliffside dwellings were abandoned in the 13th century. Number 11, Terracotta Army. Found in Xi'an, China, the Terracotta Warriors and Terracotta Army are easily one of the coolest man-made creations in the world. 
There are thousands of these life-size warriors and horses all made of terracotta, meaning each one was individually sculpted and fired before forming their ranks. This marvel was found near the tomb of Qing Shi Huangdai by total accident in the 1970s, when some locals were just digging around looking for a well point. So you can only imagine their surprise when they dug one of these up, and again when excavators and archaeologists found the rest. There are around 600 pits filled with these ancient soldiers that date back to the 3rd century BC, with much more remaining unexcavated. Since their discovery, the Museum of the Terracotta Army was created, and just three of the 600 pits are available for public view. And while anyone who's anyone would be impressed by the scale and the scope of the Terracotta Army alone, what's even more impressive is that every face is unique. No two soldiers' features are the same, although some of them maybe could be cousins. It took about 40 years to create these stone-faced warriors, with each one being hand-carved. Number 10, Chichen Itza. Once a thriving pre-Hispanic city on the Yucatan Peninsula, Chichen Itza was built by the Mayans in the year 600 AD before being abandoned about 620 years later, when Mayapan became the nation's new capital. But those were a good 620 years, to say the least. And the biggest standout, quite literally, of Chichen Itza is the Temple of Kukulkan. A lot of thought went into the temple's design that will leave even the best modern architects with their collective jaws on the floor. The temple has four stairways to reference a compass, and there are 365 steps carved in there to represent the days of the year. It's pretty amazing, especially during the spring or fall equinox, when the sun creates a bit of a natural light show on the pyramid stairs. The Mayans were really onto something with Chichen Itza, and it's no wonder it became such a popular and crowded tourist destination. But aside from the calendar-like temple, there's the Temple of the Warriors, the Maya Ball Court, the Wall of Skulls, and the Sacred Cenote, which was once the site of many human sacrifices. Number 9. Bagan the ancient city of Bagan will leave you saying just wow. This place is absolutely breathtaking, and seeing as how it's open to the public, it should be on everyone's bucket list. This ancient city is found in Myanmar and was once the capital of a strong kingdom that ruled from the 11th to the 13th century. Bagan was home to well over 10,000 temples, monasteries, shrines, pagodas, and stupads in its heyday. But as time moved on, many of these structures fell victim to not just the elements, but Mongol invaders as well. As of today, there are just 2,000 temple ruins that remain in the once sprawling capital of Bagan. The area is open to the public, and you can absolutely get up close and personal with all of these gorgeous ruins. But the best way to really put things into perspective is by getting a view from the top, which is why visitors can charter a hot air balloon to ride over Bagan to witness all of its glory. Number 8. Karnak You can't have a list of ancient ruins without talking about Egypt. The country has all sorts of ruins and is even home to one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. But for now, we're talking about the Karnak Temple Complex in Luxor, Egypt. The first thing you'll notice about Karnak is the sheer size of the site. It's absolutely huge, with so many massive sculptures carved right into the walls, like the Avenue of Sphinxes, and one can only wonder what it was like to walk that stretch in ancient times. Karnak is one of the largest ancient cities on Earth, and it's here that you'll find plenty of temples, sanctuaries, obelisks, and shrines devoted to the gods of old. But what's really wild is that Karnak took a full 2,000 years to build, making it another classic example of a project that most of the people who worked on it could never see the finished product. All of the pharaohs who ruled during the construction left their own personal architectural mark on the sprawling city. With sites like the Great Hypostyle Hall and the towering pylons and solid sandstone columns, Karnak is easily one of the most photographed places in ancient Egypt. And make sure you visit the stone scarab, because if you walk around the statue seven times, it's said to bring you good luck in your love life. Number 7. Borobudur. The next entry on our list is absolutely awesome seeing as how Borobudur is carved and crafted in about two million blocks of volcanic stone. It may be easy to get this ancient ruin confused with a certain volcanic fortress in Middle Earth, but alas, to get to Borobudur, you just need to hop on a plane to Indonesia. Borobudur dates back to the 9th century, and to this day is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. This site once fell into total ruin before its discovery in the 1800s, and over time it was thankfully restored to its former glory, with people coming from far and wide to get here at sunrise. 
Borobudur is made up of six square platforms topped by three circular platforms, which represent the pathway of enlightenment that leads up from the base of the pyramid through three levels of Buddhist cosmology up to the world of forms and letting the world of formlessness top it off. We'd like to see today's designers come up with something that brilliant. Borobudur is also decorated with over 2,000 reliefs and 500 Buddha statues, with each one outlining a different Buddha teaching. See if you can learn them all. Number six, Colosseum. Are you not entertained? That's what you'll be saying when you hear about this one. Easily one of the most iconic ruins anywhere, the Colosseum is a landmark of ancient Roman history, culture, and of course, architecture, and is one of the seven wonders of the world. The Romans were obviously doing something right, and although they gave us many of the modern luxuries we take for granted today, like roads, sanitation, aqueducts, and even ancient postal services, they also love sanctioned public violence. And while some may scoff at the idea of gladiator bouts and animal fights in the Colosseum, it's all too similar to events like MMA or pro wrestling that we enjoy today. The Colosseum, though, was officially unveiled to the Roman populace in the year 80 AD and could seat 50,000 people. And even by today's standards, it's an impressive piece of architecture, with the outer walls made of three levels of archways, with Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian columns, which were all decorated with marble statues back in the day. And at the top level was even supported by a massive awning that sheltered spectators from the elements, so you had a good seat even if you were in the nosebleeds. Number five, Great Wall of China. Now that we're in the home stretch, let's tackle another one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall spans through a total of 15 different Chinese provinces, principalities, and autonomous regions, and it's a constant reminder of a once great empire. Despite the dark history surrounding its construction, it still stands as a testament to human ingenuity all those centuries ago. It's the longest man-made structure in the world at almost 30 million feet long, completely dwarfing the second place winner by over 28 million feet. It's absolutely amazing and nothing will ever come close. If you walk the Great Wall from end to end, it would take you about a year and a half, so we hope you've got some good shoes. The wall is made up of separate sections of walls and moats that were all built as a defense from foreign invaders over six Chinese dynasties. Yet again, another project that was passed down the line of succession in the hopes that it will one day be completed. The wall is over 2,000 years old, and as you would expect, some parts have held up better than others. But the Great Wall of China in its entirety isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Number four, Petra. If you ventured with Indiana Jones on his last crusade and followed him in the breath, path, and word of God trials, then you should be very familiar with number four on this list. Another one of the seven wonders of the ancient world is none other than the Rose City of Petra. This ancient desert town is just stunning, and one look at the entrance will have you scratching your head and trying to figure out how someone could have built it. This ancient ruin was carved into the pink sandstone cliffs by nomads thousands of years ago in Jordan and is tucked right between the Red and Dead Seas. And believe it or not, the city of Petra was once full of green gardens, palatial homes, and bustling markets. Now those are all just memories, and a walk or camel ride through this once great city will show you all of the abandoned caves, temples, and tombs hidden within its walls. The treasury of Petra is a two-story structure carved into the rock face, and it's one of the most breathtaking landmarks in the entire city, which says a lot. But what makes Petra even more amazing is that 95% of the ancient city is still totally undiscovered. Number three, Machu Picchu. If you've ever been on Instagram, Facebook, or even something like Tinder, then you've already seen Machu Picchu. And while taking a selfie here may be a bit of a cliche at this point, you can't really blame anyone because this place is one of the greatest ancient ruins in the world. There's just no doubt about it. Machu Picchu is the historical fortress of the Incan Empire and is so well hidden within the mountains of Peru that even the Spanish invaders didn't find it when they reared their ironclad heads in the 1500s. It wasn't until 1911 that an explorer stumbled across the ruins completely by accident. This explorer was really looking for another city, but perhaps had the happiest accident in human history. Machu Picchu dates back to around 1450 AD, and to this day, it's a marvel of engineering, with an estimated 60% of the construction happening underground for fortification and drainage purposes. The Incans were definitely onto something, and maybe even smarter than a lot of us today. 
Nowadays, the only way to get to the once fortress is by foot or train, so take your pick. Number two, Angkor. So old that its name is in Sanskrit, Angkor is one of Cambodia's biggest tourist attractions in more ways than one. The former capital of the Khmer Empire from the 9th to 15th centuries, Angkor was once a thriving metropolis that has left behind much more than memories. Today, it's best known for the Angkor Wat Hindu Temple, which is the largest religious shrine on the planet and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The entire complex is home to well over a thousand temples scattered throughout the forest, rice fields, and farmlands. But the Bang Mayalaya Temple really takes the cake. Taking just one look at it will make you feel that you've left your realm and have entered the setting for the Jungle Book. The ruins of the temple sit in the jungle where nature has all but taken over, weaving its way in and out of the stone structure. The temple has some pretty old carvings on the stone as well, all of which have been incredibly well preserved. Number one, Giza. Seeing a photograph of the pyramids of Giza is one thing, but when you see them up close and personal, it really puts things into perspective. And whether you think they were built by slaves or by aliens, you can't deny just how majestic this ancient site in Cairo, Egypt is. The pyramids of Giza were built roughly around 2500 BCE during the fourth dynasty as permanent resting places for the pharaohs. But everyone wants to know how they were built. They're crafted with such immaculate and precise detail that it boggles the mind to think that they were built about 4,000 years ago. But as we've seen already, even ancient humans and civilizations are capable of amazing feats of engineering. And so the mystery of the pyramids probably has a more simple explanation than most would think. These days, anyone can pay the pyramids a visit and even step inside to see all of the ancient pharaoh's treasures, which were buried along with their owners so they could enjoy them in the afterlife, a fact which also attracted plenty of grave robbers. But make sure to visit the Sphinx and see if you can save yourself by answering its riddle. What goes on four feet in the morning, two feet at noon, and three feet in the evening? If you know the answer, then write it in the comment section. Bonus points if you know who first answered it. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.